Marcus Rashford, brilliantly done. Bernardo Silva! Dimitri Payet for West Ham United! We're in the second half. Here's Eden Hazard. Tried to kill the in, brilliant goal! A way back for Chelsea, maybe, with a touch of magic from Eden Hazard. Perhaps he does know what he's doing, the manager, Rafael Benitez. Chelsea have been dominant for the last 10 15 minutes. Match United can't keep the ball, they're pressing higher up the field, which they could do with Lampard on the pitch. What a good bit of play. Jim Marshall. Marshall again via Beckford. And Marshall! Oh, how about that? His first Leicester goal is when he and his manager will not begin to hurry. And there's one to keep watching over and over again. Doesn't matter who you are, you score a goal like this, you don't forget. Trust me, that's stunning. Let's 
literally the last seconds of the game. Salako again. Again, it's one on the near post. This time by a pitcher. He's done. That's 2 1. And the goal comes from an identical route. A Salako throw. Wolves don't deal with it. And Ian Dowie has Crystal Palace 2 1 ahead. And we've now had three goals in six minutes. William. He winds up to have a go! Chelsea breakthrough! Six minutes into the second half. Well, he scored his only previous goal against Manchester United in the Premier League game here back in October. Antonio rather overplayed that. Here's Rashford found by Martial. Rashford, lovely feet, brilliant goal. Oh, that is a wonderful goal from a quite superb emerging Manchester United talent. Marcus Rashford, brilliantly done. West Ham nil, Manchester United won. Well, that's just ruthless, to, ruthless finishing. This fella is going to be something special. The composure that he has, as soon as he stands up, Tompkins, he wants to work it into that area, he knows what he wants to do with it. Watch him, he's in that little area, that little pocket again, where he can't be picked up. Antonio's error, yeah, just gets that ball and now he's in total control. And look at the technique, it's fantastic play from him, such a young man. said would it be a mistake and it is a mistake Aguero has the opportunity to strike is blocked but when the ball comes back from Aguero to Bernardo Silva it's a goal of the highest quality and what the Gallo looks for Dini and he goes shot away denied that by Mertesacker still might open up here for Watford but you're ah, yes what a strike He's only been a big part player for Watford this season, but he arrives on the big stage to drive Watford into a 2 0 lead and maybe an insurmountable lead. Wembley beckons. Pops in again. Rankin gets it away, not very far. Pitcher! Yes! Darren Pitcher makes it 3 1. What next here? Well, Mike Stahl looks up, bemused and bewildered. But Pitcher here just decided to try his luck and hit the jackpot. Keeper was off his line. And Darren Pitcher. With only his second. Now with a goal at this end of the ground from Paolo Di Canio. It's Payet! He's done it! It was within his range. And he's beaten David De Gea from distance. And now the debate about whether Payet should be uh, already off the field will be heightened because he's given West Ham United the lead here in the FA Cup quarter final, midway through the second half. And that's why the West Ham fans love him. He's been outstanding all season. Could David De Gea have moved his feet across the goal before he got the dive in, but take nothing away from Payet. This is a brilliant free kick, and it's hit with pace. Well, 11 minutes gone, does this want to calm down at all? Superb pace, proper cup tie. There's the shot that beats Howard, and Sunderland in front. Phil Barsley chanced his arm, and boy did it pay off. We've had a terrific start that's just got a whole lot better for Sunderland. An unlikely goal scorer, but when he does score, it's nearly always a good one.
shouldn't score from here though. They will always be frustrated. He'll be wondering whether his team has switched off. record has been good for United of late. Here is Tielemans, Vardy on the shoulder of Lindelof, but Tielemans goes for goal! And that's another terrific strike from Yuri Tielemans. <laughs> Leicester City ahead once again. And that goal was a real trademark of a Brendan Rodgers side. As well, good ball to Armstrong. Problems for Wolves again here. Armstrong's through. He's past Law and he scored. Tremendous goal, Chris Armstrong. That was a sensational strike from the man that Palace rated at four million pounds, and the ball is wedged in the roof of the net as if to ram it home to Wolves anymore. That they are surely on their way out of the FA Cup. Four one. Armstrong skips past Law, and that's a great finish. 68 minutes. Here's Redmond. Redmond now attacking that penalty box, attacking Cook. Redmond is round Cook, and makes it two. That's an outstanding individual goal from Nathan Redmond in the very closing moments of the first half. He's put daylight between Southampton and Bournemouth have planted one foot in the FA Cup semi-final for Southampton because Nathan Redmond makes it 2-0. What a brilliant finish from Nathan Redmond. Really showed his class and his finishing ability. Back to Manchester United and that's the Reds being a disaster. They're big. 